Hi everyone, this is Hal, and welcome to Trouble Know How. I'm here now in Leeds, and uh, I'm at the Royal Armoury. It's free entry, and I have to say it is a must for anyone who's visiting uh, Leeds itself. Uh, it's so full of such interesting historical um, armors and weaponries, all the way from the medieval ages to modern time and it's so much fun to see and explore. They've got lots of interactive exhibits and uh, shows and display, and you can talk to the people as well who are uh, wearing all the period costumes and um, you know re doing reenactments. So uh, I'll flip the camera around and we'll do a short walk and see for yourself. I'm still here at the Armouries Museum here and I've just paid for three pounds to uh, have a couple of arrows and use the uh, crossbows here that uh, they have here and have a go at uh, firing at the targets. Um, seems quite a bit of fun. Three pounds, set of arrows, let's see how we go. Hi everyone, I'm here at the Corn Exchange, one of the many old buildings that are still here in Leeds. Uh, this originally, of course, uh, as the name suggests, uh, was built to exchange a lot of granary, uh, you know, wheat, flour, corn, and all that that came through here. But uh, these days, uh, the building has been uh, remodeled, refurbished, and redesigned for all the interesting handcrafted uh, items for sale. It's a beautiful building in itself. And the floor space is now used for entertainment. It's quite alive and uh, just pop around and have a look at the various interesting shops here. So here in Leeds there isn't really a tourist information centre and they put up all these boards uh, which uh, if you can sort of figure out where you are, you, you can sort of see the city itself. Now it's divided into uh, four or five different sections here and all of them are all indoor markets of some sort with arcades running through them. I'm here right now at the Leeds uh, City Kirkgate Markets. Um, it's one of the largest indoor independent uh, markets there selling all sorts of uh, food fruit and vegetables, uh, haberdasheries, all the stuff that people would have needed it uh, back in the old days. And even as well, on some of the days, if you can work out where it is, the outdoor market there also sells quite a few interesting stuff. And it's behind the stagecoach area. But uh, yeah, work out which day it is, and then come along and have a look. Otherwise, you might be disappointed. Anyway, I'm going to uh, film a little bit inside this market and uh, get some idea.
So I'm here in the middle of the mall of uh, Leeds right now and I just wanted to show how busy it is, the hustle and bustle. Uh, I'd love to show you a lot of the laneways and the buildings but there's just too much to show and uh, I think if I repeated all the arcade uh, and all the fancy buildings inside you'd probably get quite bored so I'm just doing a general panorama uh, of a 360 view of the city and you get the general idea. It's, I'd say it's a window shopper's paradise. If you come here you can watch all the fancy stores and see all the fancy clothes that are here and whatever else that uh, might uh, get you out and about and exploring the place. Hi everyone, I happen to be here in Leeds. Now, one of the things I uh, had on my to-do bucket list, uh, if it ever happened uh, while I was traveling, is that if I ever encountered someone who had already been somewhere on the journey, and we happened to bump again by freak accident, uh, this happens to be one of the most freakiest case ever. Now, early in my travels through Zurich, and while I was doing the YouTube video clip as I was doing now to uh, tell you guys about the whole view from up top. Apparently uh, Kathleen here was right there and uh, she was doing her artwork uh, sketch uh, which uh, happens to be there. If you see the clock tower and the bridge and the date, there you go. See? That was only like, you know, a month and a bit ago. Pretty, but, yeah, pretty freaky coincidence. <laughs> but that is very, very freaky coincidental thing. <laughs> and it does happen quite a lot because I've heard stories of people who do encounter other people while they're traveling along their, 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 their trip because this is such a small world, uh, literally. So if you're out there, keep an eye out and you never know who you meet out there. <laughs> again and again.